Hi, welcome back to the Keto's YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at how to do Entry ID authentication using username and password. If you want to do it using certificates, I'm going to link that video down below. And this one is just using username and password. So the first thing we have to do is go to our documentation and then go to register Easy Radius application in your tenant. And in here, we're going to have to do it twice one for the Keto's application, and one for the Easy Radius application. And you have to do this with a global administrator. If you do it with your regular account, it's not going to work. And this basically gives Easy Radius the right accesses to be able to view the stuff it has to view, like your groups and stuff like that for uh, access to your Wi-Fi. So we're going to open it up here in the new tab and we're going to select the global administrator. We're going to accept uh, the, the usages. We're going to close this. We're going to open this one in the new tab and do that again once we have done that the next thing we have to do is create our subscription and we have two options in this video i'm going to be doing the azure way purchasing it through the azure portal that will automatically charge it to your azure bill and all that stuff we also offer it straight in our uh, portal you enter your credit card information and we can charge you directly to your credit card but in this case i'm just going to do azure but just, just so you know we have both so i'm going to go to portal.azure.com we're going to click create resource. We're going to type easy radius. And I'm going to select my plan. We're going to click subscribe. We're going to name it. we're going to put it in a resource group and this doesn't actually create any Microsoft resources. This is, it, this will just create a SAS resource for billing, but there is no uh, Azure resources, VMs or anything being uh, configured. And you're going to be charged just by the uses that you use that, that you have seen in our pricing page. So there is no extra cost for doing it through Microsoft. Now that it's done, we're going to click configure account. This is going to send us to our easy radius. We're going to select our location and we're going to click create instance. Now we're going to have our instance where it is. So you can see here is usaeasyradius.io. I recommend bookmarking this uh, URL so you have it. And, and then you can go straight here every single time instead of having to go to Azure and, and so on. So now that we have our instance, we have to create our access policy. And as always in settings, you can add more people. So if you have more people that are going to be managing it, you can um, add more people here in settings as an owner or as network administrator. But in this case, I'm just going to go here to policies and you'll see a lot of policies here in, in my case, in yours, it will be empty. So the first thing we have to do is name it. So let's call it entry ID. And then we're going to put our public IP address. If you have multiple IP addresses, uh, you will have to add each one one by one. But if it's only one, you can even click the IP address button and add it. If you have multiple, you can also use a CSV if it's like too many. And you can even put a description, so like Boston office. And next thing, accepted certificate authorities. We're just going to ignore that because that's for certificate-based authentication. Server certificate, we're going to just leave it as auto-generated. Easy Radius is going to take care of it. It will create a certificate for us. So next thing we have to do is create our Entry ID policy. And in this case, I'm just going to do one. So you're just going to do enable identity provider IP delegation. And you could do multiple and put them into different VLAN groups using uh, Entry ID groups. So like, for example, here I could check, like, are you in the students group? If you are going here, but, but in this case, we're just going to leave it as one and we're going to add that policy. And then we're going to save it. So now that we have created our policy, we have to go to our uh, router. In this case, we're going to use Unify. And in here, we're going to go to profiles and we're going to click on radius and then we're going to create a new one. And this one, I'm just going to do wireless networks. We're going to go here and we're going to add 
our IP addresses. I recommend adding one from East US and one from West US or uh, I mean, depending where you, where you are. Um, if there's multiple locations in your easy radius policy, I recommend adding one of each and then you're gonna use the same shared secret. So we're gonna go here, add the IP address, click the shared secret, and then we're gonna put the shared secret again, go back here, add one from West US, add it, and then we're gonna name it video policy, and we're gonna apply changes. So now that we have our video policy here, we're gonna go to one of our Wi-Fi's and we're gonna change this to be video policy and the Wi-Fi profile. If this was the first one you would be creating, you would change this to enterprise and then we're gonna click apply changes. So then we're gonna open our network panel and we're gonna find our Wi-Fi and we're gonna click connect. We're gonna enter our username We're going to put in our password and we're going to click OK. We're going to click Connect and you can get rid of this uh, with Intune and I'm going to link the documentation for that down below. We're going to click Connect and as simple as that, we're connected into our radius. So if you're having issues, the best way to troubleshoot is go to the audit logs and click Get Logs and you'll see your authentications. If they're false, there will be some errors here that it will send you to the um, to the documentation. The number one error we see is that in Mac, so you saw Windows, super easy to set up. Mac uh, defaults to something, some authentication, that must be two, that is not supported by Entry ID. So you have to configure your Mac to default to EAP, TTLS, PAP. You can do it manually on the Mac. Here we have instructions on how to do it here. You can also push it through Jamf or Intune. We also have instructions of it here. So make sure you, you do this uh, before trying it on, on Apple devices. Thank you so much for watching and please let us know if you have any questions.